This was actually a look I did probably about over like 36 something weeks ago and I wanted to redo it for a tutorial because I liked it so much and I had so much fun doing it. So in this tutorial I'm going to start with 1920s inspired makeup, beauty makeup, and then I will show you how to paint on these pearls and then we are going to make her a crazy undead lady because in my intro, hopefully you guys liked it, I thought it was kind of fun and cute um, because I love coffee so much. My beautiful flapper lady gets poisoned by her own coffee. I don't know who did it, but someone rude obviously because coffee is amazing and it is not poison. It is like nectar from Jesus' hands himself. I don't even know. All product details are listed down below. Duh. And some of the products you can save some money off of, so go take a look at that if you're interested. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's go. Before we start, I did already do my foundation and like the tiniest bit of a light contour. I didn't feel the need to go through all of that through a tutorial again. You guys have seen it before. If you haven't seen me do my foundation routine and you're curious, I do have a video for that and I'll put that down below. We are about to make our cheeks rosy as all hell. In most of the 1920s looks and makeup you kind of see, they have super rosy, pink, ready to go cheeks. So we are going to do that with the Morphe blush palette, which I love, as you guys probably know, because I've used it a few times. And I'm thinking we're going to go with this one and this one mixed together to get super pink. So just using a large stippling brush and those two Morphe blushes, we are going to put those all over the apples of our cheeks and bring them just onto our cheekbones a little bit too, because their cheeks were super, super accentuated. Pretty much when you're doing this look, I don't know if you can hear my dog dreaming. He's barking in his dream, possibly. What you barking at? <laughs> oh, now he really went down. When you look in the mirror and you're doing these cheeks, you're like, mm, okay, I think that's rosy enough. Just do like one more layer because those things were pink. I want this to be seen from like a mile away where they're like, whoa, she is flustered and flushed. Where's she going? I want to be there. I want to be there too. Now when you think your cheeks are rosy enough, we're going to move on to the eyebrows. And the eyebrows, um, they were very thin and they were very long and kind of curved down to look sad because you wanted to look pouty and beautiful. Maybe not, but that's just what I think of when I look at them, so that's what we're going to do. So going in with a MAC 210 brush and Ebony Dip Brow from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm just going to start creating the very thin and long curved shape for my eyebrows. Obviously my eyebrow hairs still show through, but I didn't mind too much, but if you do, you can totally block out your eyebrows using a glue stick. I also obviously had to add to my little beauty mark too. In most of the 1920s looks and kind of flapper looks, they have a lot of dark lips and they have very intense little heart-shaped lips and it's very cute. So we are going to use Gerard Cosmetics for the whole lips. Using the Cherry Cordial Lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics, I am just going to completely fill in my lips. I also am going to use an E06 brush from Sigma just to get that very precise line and to really make the cupid's bow of my lips intense and very pouty. These lipsticks are super moisturizing, so I chose to use these ones. And then I'm going to use the Seduction Lip Gloss from Gerard on top to give that nice little candy apple glossy feel. Now that the lips are done, I have to talk very carefully because I am terrified that lip gloss is going to get all over my teeth and I won't notice and you guys will be like, oh my god, oh, I feel kind of bad. She doesn't know she's lip gloss on her teeth. I am going to do one half of my eyes and I will be back to show you guys the other one. I went ahead and did this eye. I went with some smoky purples and 
most of the pictures and makeup from the 1920s, they have these beautiful, intense, you know, thick lashes, and the bottom lashes are really accentuated, and they look very pouty, so I went ahead and did this, and before I go into this eye, I just kind of wanted to talk about the products I'm going to use and the brushes I'm going to use right now, so that when we start blending and doing all our shit, I don't keep stopping and being like, oh, and this is for this. For the eyeshadows, I'm going to be using all Makeup Geek eyeshadows. As you guys know, I am an affiliate with them, so um, I use their eyeshadows a lot, and I love them. They're super blendable, so I'm going to be using those, and I am going to use these new Sigma FX brushes. They were specifically made to do kind of FX work, and I love them, and I'm going to show you guys that you can use them for beauty and FX, so yeah. We always got to start by priming the eyes, so I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion and the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, just so that those colors will really pop. I'm putting White Lies from Makeup Geek Cosmetics all over the eye, just so that the eyeshadows blend nicely on top. Still using the Sigma FX6 brush, I am going to be putting Prom Night from Makeup Geek Cosmetics all over my eye. Using the FX5 brush from Sigma, I'm going to start just adding a little bit of a darker color in that crease. I'm using Sensuous from Makeup Geek Cosmetics. Whoops, and I grabbed a little bit too much pigment, but that's okay. We can just dust it off and pretend it never happened. I'm basically going to keep going back and forth using the FX5 brush to put the pigment down into my outer V and crease and then I am going to use the FX6 brush to blend it back out. I'm going in with Drama Queen to make it a little bit darker and then some Corrupt which is a black matte shadow all from Makeup Geek. I just love all their smoky purples together. I don't know why I don't wear purple eyeshadow more in my life. I pretty much never wear purple eyeshadow, and this is kind of changing how I feel about it. I did want to add a little bit of liner, so I am just going halfway along my lid with the Inglot 77 liner and a Morphe angled brush. I then want to smoke it out using that Drama Queen eyeshadow from Makeup Geek, which is a dark purple. Popping on some lashes, I am using the 105s from Friends Beauty on bottom, and then two of the 140s stacked on top. They had a lot of really dramatic, very thick lashes back in this era, so I thought that the bottom ones really fit well. Onto the Painted Pearls, I am starting with using that same FX6 brush because it's nice and round and I am using the Makeup Geek eyeshadows in Cocoa Bear and Corrupt mixed together just to kind of get that nice matte darker brown. I am going to just pretty much pretend I'm drawing on pearls just right along my collarbone. Now, adding on the pearls, I'm using the NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Pencil in Milk. This is like a super nice matte white pencil. Um, what you're going to want to do is what you just put on with the eyeshadow is going to be the shadow from the pearls. So you want to basically put the pearls halfway onto the shadow so that it looks like part of that circle is still showing because the pearls would naturally cast a little bit of shadow onto your skin. Adding just a little bit of matte light gray eyeshadow to the top of the pearls will really help to make them look a little more 3D. They're very reflective, so of course the pearls would have some shadows on them too. Make sure that most of the shadows go in the same corresponding way. You wouldn't want shadows randomly here and there because there would naturally just be one light source onto the pearls. For some of the highlights, I'm going to be using Mayron Makeup's Paradise Paint in White. I am just going to help to curve the bottom of the pearls a little more and accentuate the bright white highlight that they would have. You pretty much just want to continue this process until there is a definite difference between that light gray transitioning to the NYX Jumbo Milk Pencil and then to the shock white of the paradise paint. Also make sure you're blending as you go. I'm 
Make sure to add a little bit more shadow underneath the pearls as well. I'm just using Corrupt, the black shadow, just to add a tiny bit right against the edge of the pearl. Finally, go ahead and add that final white highlight. This is not going to be blended out. This is going to be the very reflective piece that's getting the light right against it. So make sure that all of your pearls pretty much have the corresponding same spot where they have that final white highlight. We are also going to pin up the hair just a little bit to be a little bit more of a bob. My hair is super curly, which I curled with some, uh, uh, what do you call it, rag curls. And so that is a no heat way to curl your hair and it's very, very easy. I'm sure there's hundreds of tutorials on YouTube if you're wondering how to do it. It's so awesome. So we're just gonna try to tame this this beast somehow just a little bit if you guys watched this tutorial for the beauty portion that is now all done and we are going to make her dead because she drank her poisoned coffee who would poison her coffee like who would do that coffee is Jesus's nectar straight from his hands I don't know, but we are going to do our undead 20s lady as she walks the earth feasting on the hearts of men and women. I mean, if you want to feast on women's hearts, go for it. Do your thing. Ooh, I look so creepy. Okay, we're going to go ahead and beef up this eye. We're just going to be using the FX6 brush and some Bitten eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and we are just going to put that everywhere in rough strokes, in spots, mainly focusing around the eye area and then adding some Lemon Drop and Yellow Brick Road from Makeup Geek Cosmetics to add a little bit more to that bruising. This look is actually like super easy and fun to do just because it is so messy and like the bruised, fucked up eyes do not have to be perfect. They can look super messy, the messier the better. So just go ham in your eyeshadows. These bruises, they come in so many different colors. You know, bruises have yellows, purples, blues, reds. So go ahead and just use a bunch of these colors to really add a ton of dimension to your bruise. I'm adding in some Corrupt from Makeup Geek just to really darken it up and even some Sugar Pills After Party which is a blue shadow just to add more and more. I'm pretty obsessed with this FX6 brush, that was hard for me to say. I've used it so many times in this tutorial and I just adore it, it is becoming one of my favorite favorites. Like even, I've been using it for blending and now I'm using it to make these weird kind of textures for almost like there's dried up blood underneath the skin. For some veins, I am going in with a very small Sigma brush and the Makeup Forever flash palette using the red and brown cream paints from them mixed together. What you want to do with veins is just have them taper off very lightly. You can see I'm even using my finger just to kind of mesh them into my skin a little bit and I'm just randomly putting those coming out of my eyes and through my skin. I did decide to add a little bit of blood to this look. I've had this Ben Nye scab blood around for a while now and I just haven't gotten to using it. And it's pretty fun. You know, she's this undead flapper lady, so why not give her some fucking blood around her eyes? So I am just putting that all around, focusing more towards where my actual eyes are. And I am layering it on. It's very easy to use and it dries to look like this nasty scab. Also some around her lips too, because you know, she's eating people for a living now. Okay, now that we have all this going on, I'm going to pop in my other contact, but first I have to go wash my hands. And that's that. Whether you want to be a beautiful flapper girl before she got poisoned, or the poisoned out for revenge, ready to murder the people that poisoned her coffee, whoever they may be. I hope you guys liked this tutorial and are possibly going to wear it out sometime. 
I had so much fun doing it. I love it. I kind of, like my husband is going to wake up soon and I kind of just want to be like, hey, let's go to Village Inn. I'll go like this and I'll just walk in and be like, give me 10 omnits. And yeah, we'll see.